And what about the treatment that we have within our culture? Sarcastic treatment of our friends. And a lot of times we say, when people encounter us about, why are you talking to him like that? We say, that's my man. We're good like that. And this is something from our jahiliyyah, it's from our pre-Islamic character. Something that remains with many of us. That we insult our friends. That we mention about them what they don't like to hear. And we expect them to sort of develop thick skin and to develop an immunity to that. We expect that. But at times when the emotions are high, we know. Those things build up and those things actually weigh on a person. You keep calling me this and I'm sick of it. See, Babu al-Muslim fusuq. Insulting a Muslim is fusuq. Within this culture of insult and sarcasm and mistreatment of people in the name of close ties and all of that. We say Islamic character, true, solid Islamic character, which involves honoring those who deserve to be honored. The Muslim upon the sunnah, upon right guidance, who loves and practices the sunnah of the Prophet wasallam, follows the way of the upright salaf. He deserves that you honor him and respect him. So the religion requires us to treat him kindly, to treat him with nobility, to treat him with respect, more so than other than him. And as well, the closer a person is to you, if you are a person upon good, refined, proper, upright, Islamic character, then the closer the people are to you, the more of that they get. Whereas if you are a person that is not a person of good character, you'll find the opposite. The closer you get to the person, the more harm you will receive. And the wives and the children know more than anyone. No hiding that. The wives and the children know more than anyone. And think about how Aisha radiallahu anha was asked about the character of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa Never put his hands on anyone except fi sabilillah. The closest of all people to him. She said what his character was the Qur'an. She's the biggest witness for the character of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The closest and most beloved of all people to him. Look at Anas ibn Malik radiallahu anhu, the servant of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In close quarters with the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for a period of 10 years in Al-Madinah. His entire childhood in the house of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In the service of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as he narrated, he never said to me about a thing that I did wrong, why did you do it this way? Or about a thing that I didn't do, why didn't you do it? And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would send Anas on errands to go buy something or go get something. And then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, after waiting for him some time, would go out and see him playing with other children. The kind of thing that would enrage you. Yet he was patient and Anas said about him that one of the biggest testimonies, he never said to me, why didn't you do such and such? He would smile and that would be enough. It would be heavy on Anas. He's playing with the children, he's caught. He's supposed to be on an errand for the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Look at the character. Aisha radiallahu anha, she has that dish sent to her house when she had no food. And that dish was to be given to his guests and she breaks the dish in front of the guests. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam excuses her, cleans up, explains to his guests that's just the jealousy of your mother. The very best of character. So those closest to him are the biggest testimonials to his good behavior, to his good character. As opposed to many of us, those closest to us are the biggest witnesses to what? This guy has poor character. This guy has the worst character. Easily angered. No patience. Look how much the wives say this. How much the wives and the children talk about us like this. No patience, no forbearance, no lenience with me, no kindness, no generosity, just harshness, bad speech, just yelling, just being upset all of the time. And this is the opposite of what we are aiming for. While we may be like this, we have to realize this is an issue. We have to strive for a level where we say, if you want to know about my character, ask my wife and ask my children. Because they see me more than anyone else. And I hope they would say something good about me. And you really honestly feel that way. May Allah Ta'ala make us like that. That's real character. Not that you come in front of people that you see for a couple hours of the day. And you're soft and gentle and lenient. And so kind. But when you go home you're a monster.
That's not real character.